so yesterday afternoon we headed out and wasn't too long into the afternoon hunt that uh, Pete actually j jumped off and he wanted to take a look on the other side of the dune <clears throat> see what was there as we were going down the road so um, he came back there was a few spring buck and some other stuff over there and um, we kept driving down the road and uh, sure enough we got the tap and you know they had spotted something else and uh, so we got out and uh, looked ahead and and there was the blue wildebeest so that's on the on the list so we went after the blue wildebeest and and uh, as we're going up it was kind of tricky to pick our way through bush to bush there wasn't a lot of cover and uh, but I was right behind low and you know it one bush they were still grazing and set up a little bit see angles make sure they're good bulls and uh, there was four of them together so we knew it wasn't a big herd of cows and young ones and is it just a uh, good opportunity so we pushed ahead and uh, the further we got um, then we noticed there was a cow up on the dune and uh, when we saw that cow it was like oh no the set of eyes they're, they're on us now um, <clears throat> but pushed ahead one more one more bush and uh, um, thought we were getting pretty close. Um, I thought he was setting the sticks up for the last time right there and, and was gonna, you know, get the shot. And, and uh, then we, we pushed ahead one, one little bit more. We were probably 250 yards yet at that point, maybe 300, and I, I'm not sure. Um, but <clears throat> that's when I saw the red heart of beast. And I thought, okay, the jig's up now. There's a red heart of beast also on the dune. And when we saw that, I thought, okay, now it's gonna run, it's gonna spook. And, uh, as it turns out, it did. It, it you know, it had its eyes on us, and uh, it went and it ran, but it ran in front of the bulls, um, between the bulls and, and us, so it didn't spook them. So went ahead and got out of the way, and I said, like, "Okay, good. Still one last chance." And uh, that was about the time I think uh, Lowe went around to the left side of the bush, set up the sticks, and as I came around and got on the sticks, they were they were right there. They were. Within a hundred yards, maybe I'm not really sure about how far, um, but probably about 100 yards. And and uh, he faced us at that point. The bulls knew we were there, so faced right at us. And Low said, right in the center, and that's where I put it. He didn't go far, you know. Um, he ran off to the left. Everybody or all the bulls uh, exited left, and uh, pretty soon you can see that one. He's starting to kick back, and and uh, down he went. So it was a great hunt. Uh -huh. That's the way to do it. There we go. <laughs> Thank there we you. Go. Well done, sir. Um, real exciting, and uh, it, it was tricky getting through all of the the bushes, you know, stalk, but. That's what makes a stock, and it was good. So it's a great hunt. Well done, sir. Thank you. Your first bull to be. Yeah. Um, there's so many animals here, you know, driving driving through the bush, and you're you're constantly seeing groups or herds, and and you know, I've made a couple other stocks, and you if you blow a stock, you know, there's another chance, um, and that's okay. So uh, when I when I got that one, it was like, oh, good. I got uh, one of one of my animals I really wanted to get the blue wildebeest. It's beautiful, you know, and it, and it was a good bull. And walking up on him, it's like, oh yeah, this is this is it. This is it. It was great. It was, you know, felt really good.